right? And um, say it has uniform facets. If it doesn't, um, you do it, you know, half. Say it has, you know, the, the dorsal facets, like in the males, are larger and they're smaller in the bottom. So um, the way I do it, um, you could do it with a French curve, but you, and you try to imitate, you want to get it the, about the size of the facets. <clears throat> So in flies, again, in the males that have differentiated facets, it's the dorsal ones or the frontal ones that are almost always, not all the time, larger. Okay? And then the ventral ones, say, will be smaller. So like this, like that. Okay, you get the point. Mm -hmm. Now... Um, there are several ways to do it. Um, you could do this as for the facets, and as you get towards the edge, it's sloping away from you. You get more oblong, you get more oval. And then, as you know, omatidia, or the facets are, are um, packed. They're not evenly, so you want to stagger it like that. So you could do that. That's the tedious way. Now, you don't obviously have to do the entire eye. Uh, I can hear. Yeah. For example, what I do is generally in the, in the center, you just erase the middle, and you just do the ones around the, around the, the sides. Um, if you want to do, here I just did the cross hatching. If you want to do the Ralph Idema style, it's done like this. And again, I, I recommend that it is, you know, unnecessary and overkill. But, and then he would just do this thing. And as you get closer here, you, closer to the light reflection, you get yeah. He got really good at it, obviously. And sometimes it's tricky. You can you can do a nice drawing and then you do that, you know, the eye thing, and, and then it's oh, it looks sucky. So you have to be really careful about tapering it nicely and, and that sort of thing. Okay, but that's how you, that's how you can do eyes. And again, here, since the drawing wasn't big enough, I decided I'm just going to cross hatch it. Mm. And that's fine. Mm -hmm. And the same thing here, I just kind of cross hatch it a bit and y you know, you get the effect. Um, and then if you want to put in CD, you know, if they're little tiny micro trichia rather in between, and then you could even do that. But I, I find that rendering is, you know, unless it's a reconstruction or some sort of habit is, it's overkill to kind of like fill in all the eyes all the time. I think in this other drawing here, like here, I didn't do the eyes. You don't need to. You know, it's, it's overkill. The point is to do the, the orbital CD, the arista, the little fine hairs on the basal flagellomere, that kind of thing. I guess, I guess a, a big part of illustration is knowing what you need to do and what you really don't need to do, not to do it overkill. <coughs>